Thank you guys for watching. I'm Hans and this is my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about this pile of stuff that I created way back when, in about 2001, I decided to go out and make my own crane. The first time we ever set this up and used it, we had it strapped down on the back of a pickup and we were going down the highway filming some Humvees. And I used the motors off of like a little drill to get them to turn so I could get my angle, but it was so rough. I just kind of had to get the angle and then let it sit there. And I could move the arm and then get another angle and let it sit there. It was pretty funny actually to think that I thought that would actually work. But now I've got this thing tuned in so it works super well. I've gotten some awesome award-winning shots from it. And it's just a pile of metal that probably total has cost me about $800. I've been using it 2001 to now, so 19 years I've been using this and it all started when I found this tripod on the side of the road. Let's go! Actually, I didn't find this tripod. My friend John found this tripod and he brought it to me and said, hey, you might want to use this because you could make a crane out of it. And it's actually one of those survey tripods that they use. And I was like, it's not going to be strong enough, but I actually drilled some holes and put some bolts in here and it's plenty strong. It has been in some situations where I thought for sure it was going to fold up and just collapse with tons of weight on it, a huge camera, and it has never even flexed or done anything to make me worry. So I'm super confident in this tripod, the way that I have it set up. I wouldn't rely on these clamps that are here by any means because it's not going to handle it. But like I said, I drilled a hole all the way through the whole entire arm right here, and I stuck a pin that sticked all the way through both of those pieces of tubing. And then we designed a top for it right here where the arm sits and I'm gonna put this whole thing together. Hopefully in about three or four hours, the light's gonna be perfect. This takes about a half hour to put together and get it dialed in. So I'm gonna do that and I'll show you all the pieces. I made this dolly for it as well because I didn't wanna have to tear the whole thing down to move it 10 feet and then get another shot. So I can get this whole thing set up I can push it around, I can get it set up where I want, get my next shot. The whole idea with this is this arm has to be balanced and we're 22 feet out this way and we're seven feet out this way, balance it out. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. If you like this video, please subscribe, hit that bell button so you can see more content like this. Let's get started. So I made this thing so it would just slide together. So I have these little seven foot sections and each one of them has a little end on it. So they just slip together. And I had to custom make this cause there's not really anything that make that is that size. So we had to design that and make it ourselves. And then I put holes in here and I've got these little pins that just drop right down into that hole and they lock it in so those won't come back out. So these are my cable stanchions that also allow me to hook these two pieces together so there's no way that they're ever gonna come apart. The tension on these cables is definitely enough to hold it together, but I kind of overdo things sometimes. And then we've got another cable that sits right here that comes out this way and it goes down to keep any side-by-side -side movement going. So this just slides in like that. This gets twisted on here. And then we don't really have to have these super tight. I just want them snug on here. And then my last one is right here. We've added that, that, and that, and that's basically holding these pieces all together. The original one only had these four pieces that were only maybe eight, 10 inches long. I had to get this way longer and get these guys out further to get this. You can see how bouncy it is. So when you have a big camera on the end and that thing starts doing that, it's not good. So this actually tightens everything up and it's super rigid. When I built this, I did not have any money at all. So it was like every cent that I had went into building this 
it's paid for itself many, 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 many times over. At the time, it was really hard for me to part with the cash to build this. Cable number one, that way. We've got this cable that goes on the top, and this is gonna be the main one that you're gonna see here. Clip that on, I've got a little carabiner there. And initially, we don't wanna put that on top of all of these because we're gonna run it and then we're gonna stretch it out to make it nice and tight on the top. And you can see this little tab that we welded on here. And I highly recommend if you're thinking about building one of these, make sure you do it out of aluminum because that is a lifesaver. So we're gonna stretch this cable up onto that. There's a little notch in the top here so the cable sits kind of down inside the notch like that so it won't slip off. Got another one here, and we got another one here. But when I lift this up, you can see how much more rigid it is. There's not a lot of shaking. Now we have almost like a bow and arrow kind of effect where it stretches out over that. We're not getting any side to side, we're not getting any up and down, so those cables are really doing a good job of stabilizing this thing so that we get rid of this bounce that we see underneath. It takes a little bit of time to set it up, but the sun's getting a little better. It's not so harsh now. It's gonna be better and better and better. We're gonna get a really nice sunset shot here. Well, I got my weights on, I got my cables on. Just wanted to kind of touch in here and let you guys see how little pressure this takes to actually move it now. And I had to put a pair of pliers right here to keep it from coming up. So this is all the weight that it would take. Now you can see it's moving up on its own. But look how smooth that is. That's like a really nice move that you could actually really control. And then we're gonna go ahead and put, I don't know, this is gonna be weird. Whoa. We're gonna put the camera on that end right there. So I have this one set up right now so that I can put a gimbal on the end of it. So obviously when I get that much more weight here, I'm gonna need to add some more weight to get that to lift up there. I did build a head for this that runs off of a remote control and a battery. So I can be sitting back there watching my shot and I can be moving the camera as I'm moving the jib. It usually takes two people to get it to work really well. If you want to get really, really clean, good shots, it's a two person job for sure. So this is the head that I had designed and this has been through many, 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 many revisions. It used to be, like I said, these little parts up here, these parts down here were meant to hold these motors from a drill that I'd found. And we were just doing left and right. And we didn't really have a potentiometer that would slow them down and speed them up. So then I had to gear these servos down. So I got these big gigantic gears and I got these little gears. And this took a long time. This was probably two years in the making getting this thing tuned in, but this thing works so good now. It's so smooth. The problem with it is, is when you get it on the end of the arm and you lift it up, it'll kind of tend to do this little sway thing where it goes back and forth. It's not, a lot of people don't even notice it, but I am super picky and so I see it all the time. But that's where the gimbal comes in because no matter what, if it's swinging or it's kind of doing something funny, the camera's still level, so you don't notice any of it on that 20 foot arm. None of it's coming through back to where you actually see any kind of dipping or moving up and down because it's so slight. So we're gonna go ahead and screw this on to the quarter 20 that's right here onto this little quarter 20 that I have here. And that thing is on, ready to go. The nice thing is, like I said, you guys, is you can move this thing around now. So I can go ahead and lift this off the chair. I can push it and get it to go pretty much wherever I want to. So we'll try a couple different things in a couple different places. I hope this wind dies down.
Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you like the shots that we end up getting and I appreciate you guys watching my video. Uh, if you do like it, hit the subscribe button and hit the thumbs up button if you like it and you'll see me in the next video. <laughs>